what's up? It's the worst days. I'm your host, Joshua Wise. I am here with five wonderful people here to do horror TTRPG streaming. Pew 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 pew. Ashton Laurel is with me. How are you, Ashton? Great. You really came in hot there. I've noticed I say um a lot at the beginning of things, and I was like, I'm not saying <laughs> um. I am just coming in Respect. super hot. So <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying really hard not to say um as I get notifications on my Streamlabs. Chris Zumski is here. How are you, Senor Zumski? Not saying um. Yeah. What I do is exaggerated pauses. Instead of saying, like, when you want to feel, say, the word um. Sure. That's what my, uh... Oh? Ah? Uh? Ah? Uh? Uh? <laughs> it what, wasn't uh, a... Oh, uh... <laughs> class i took was <laughs> one of the tools they gave you to help sound yeah. less good at speechifying perfect mm. that's how you avoid the word um anya nelson is here how are you anya I've been i'm on good sun all day <laughs> yeah yeah excellent <laughs> matt burn is here how's it going matt you know what i'm a little hot yeah and uh feeling <laughs> pretty fancy <laughs> sure sure yeah I'm feeling I, good i'm ready to do this thing i'm really glad um, i i yeah. super 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 happy renee adria blissy Vito is here Ooh. with us looking like i just finished sandman and you are looking like you're ruling hell honestly yeah i wish i was more like torso up in here because i do have like a corset looking thing down there if i had a crown and some flames behind me sure. i would believe that mm. sure yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah maybe just sit further away from the camera <laughs> so we can get listen, the full full body honest... listen we got the mic just where we need that's it that's true yeah <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> so the audio. this is the worst days this is a horror ttrpg I, I'm getting, like, dropped frames detected 66% over the last two minutes, which is not great. Yeah, it's a little blurry. Who's dropping frames screen. out here? That's, it's me. Dropping it like it's hot. I'm apparently um. dropping frames. So, this is the worst days. Uh, welcome to everybody who just came over from that Gamer Priest stream. We, last we left our group, uh, some stuff had gone down. And yeah. one of our one of our characters had passed into a coma. Bambi the bat had had passed into a coma and was carried around the place for a little while. Underwent some bodily transformations at one point. You wake up, Anya, and you are beat to shit. You things do not feel good on your body. You feel as if you've been rolled around in gravel, which, <laughs> which you actually have. <laughs> okay, I was going to ask. <laughs> yeah, you have, you have definitely been rolled around in gravel. You don't feel violated in any way, but you definitely do not feel like you want to fight. Maybe manhandled is the appropriate term. Yeah. It was all slumpo. It was all slumpo. Tortoise maybe, handled. Maybe elephant is anyone, handled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, who's the elephant? No, no. Oh, oh. Slumpo. Yeah, the evil thing. The blue one. Yeah. The blue one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was all Slumpo. It's, None of us. Oh had yeah, he's a. It. It's like it's like it meets Chuck E. Cheese. Slumpo's out yeah. and out, girlfriend. Yeah, you wake up, and you look around, and you are back. You are basically where you fell asleep. You are in the break on top room, of the TV. Like on, not quite on top of the TV, but in the same room as where you fell. You collapsed on top of the tv and you um you feel bad but you also notice that uh eunice the unicorn not here uh is everyone else everybody there, else or? is there yes oh no eunice his name is pepper actually please. his name is pepper please please stop <laughs> where's, sure. where's pepper My name is eustace <laughs> <laughs> Your ass is gone, man. You. We we hear his voice like. <laughs> yeah, wasn't the last thing you said? I think I made a mistake or something. Yeah. Probably. Probably. It should have been if it wasn't. Yeah. 
What's, what's happening? What's going on? Uh, uh, oh, oh, wow. That's a question. Well, welcome uh, back. There was uh, like are a you good? You are, good? You are you okay? How do you feel? So. Sore. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, there was like a Beetlejuice level portal because it was like in the brick, right? Yeah. Like the kind of just materialized, open kind of. Yeah. Um, I don't know what's going on. This doesn't make any logical sense at all. But uh, Pepper decided to go, go through maybe go a hidden the... door. The kind of sounds like something Pepper would do, to be honest. Oh, you know what? That's totally fair. That's that, true. Yeah, that's true. We should have expected this. We should have There's warned no... Pepper before. Don't go through any holes in the wall. Yeah. Also, it was like Slumpo was trying to get oh. us to sacrifice someone. Yeah, he's um, like, it was you. It, oh, Cam. Cam. <laughs> she just spoke. What? Come on, Cam. What? We agreed to not. Yes, we did. <laughs> and that's the important, important part. Yes. Why are you making River. this weirder? Um, yeah. River, we're good people. Just remember that. <laughs> I'm starting to think I might be a good person, but I don't know about you guys. The so... phrasing is kind of off right now. Okay, Cam, we're about to be murdered by, like, a giant... No, we don't know that, man. Guys, no, you're right. We that. are going to murder an elephant. We just... Yes. Probably? Ooh. Gosh, I hope this isn't some kind of hallucination thing. Oh no! Oh, what if it is? Ooh, I'm still Ooh. gonna stab him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so while you guys are discussing murdering the the elephant and bringing Bambi up to speed, Eunice slash Eustace, I don't want to. I don't want to dead name you. Yeah, uh, Eustace. Uh, but you are standing in the carnival, and it—it's lovely. It's—it's like a—it's like a watercolor, like pop-up book of of pastels, and there is a, a ringleader with a top hat, and it's—it's it's as if you're in a pop-up book, and um, the scene actually turns the page you see the whole scene in front of you turn the page like a pop-up book and a new scene appears and it's a man with bags of money he's in a suit he's got bags of money and the owner of the carnival is selling his carnival you have one of two choices do you stay with the carnival or do you go with this group of your friends to go off adventuring now that you have a, basically a, a, a free life outside of the carnival? Uh, um, don't go with the Yeti. Wait, don't go with the Did Yeti? You know? Is there a yes, Yeti? No, there's Does not a Yeti. To... What do my friends seem like? Like on a scale of 1 to 10, how sketchy are my friends? They're, I mean, they're carnies. So... You know, standard sketchy, loyal, standard. Oh. loyal and sketchy at the same <laughs> yeah. time. You know, uh, can't you tell a sketchy. lie. What is um okay? All right, I need That's to just drill down on this. I need to drill down on this because I, uh, if I stay with the carnival, I want to approach the man with the money bags and ask him what my role will be with the carnival if I stay. You do that, and he is just a paper cutout. <laughs> mm, I'm so confused. And I will go with my carny friends. I hope that their average sex appeal is above a five. Yes, it absolutely is. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so no, I go with the carnies. Yes, the carnies. I mean, All right. And you, again, feel <laughs> the page of your story turn over, and you see yourself in a collection of, of uh, animals heading up into the mountains, and you know for certain that, uh, that their names are Darius the Donkey, Wilfred the Wombat, Amanda the armadillo and Tina know. the triceratops. And that is your party of friends heading up into the mountains. Now, back in the other room. 
uh, you've all decided that you're going to try to kill Slumpo or you're going to try to escape. Oh, we, all right. Listen, we tried to escape. Uh, River, some shit happened, okay? Some shit happened. Uh, you, we, we, you were a real bat. You were a real bat for a minute yeah. out there, just kind of lying on the pavement. Sorry about that, by the way. That was yeah, Slumpo. We had, we had to broom you Again. in. We, yeah, we had to <laughs> we did broom, broom you in. in. Yes. Did she say broom? Broom, yeah. Yeah, well, we, no. yeah we couldn't step out there or else we would also <laughs> not turn into a bat, but I would turn into a full rhino and I was terrified that something would happen. So I just kind of stuck my arm out and just kind of did a broom thing. Yeah, and, you know. I really don't know what to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. You're welcome. Thank like you. I said, I think hallucination. I'm really hoping for. This is what I'm kind of okay, but really like it to be. Did we all have the same shared hallucination? Because if so, I certainly I did like... not. Right. I passed out. Oh, uh, gosh. Um, Over uh, the speakers, you hear Slumpo says your birthday. It's Slumpo birthday time. Slumpo, Slumpo birthday. Birthday, Slumpo time. And then confetti falls from the ceiling and two banners unroll in the room. One of them says danger and one of them says exit. And the one that says exit is by the staircase where you guys just were from. And the one that says danger is the doorway that like Billy went down um, and got lost. Mm. I. Uh... All right. Here's the thing. He's giving us options, so I say we just kind of sit this one out. Like let's just <laughs> chill in here for a bit. <laughs> the confetti is... continues to fall. I have oh, a. I have yeah. a. I. I. I don't think we should stay in here. All right, that's a valid point. <laughs> Which way did you guys try before? The front door. Front there door. Are, there are more than one exit. Yeah, yes. and let, me, let us be clear. We did make it out. Oh, yeah. But uh, that's Animal. not the issue here. Not in yeah. the way that we wanted to. Yeah, you got definitely anamorphed, and it wasn't in a way where you, you kept your reason right you were just straight rhinoing at that point yeah. i was but i like to think that like it's always i i'm always straight rhinoing <laughs> yeah good job good one mine yeah Ooh. thank yeah. you anywho um, i don't i i don't trust the banners but also yeah. like i mm, it could be were... tricking us it could right be tricking us. And plus, i go through the danger oh. one Oh God! Oh wait, no! We stick together, please, for the love of God! <laughs> no, no, I'm yeah. saying I would. I, I'm discussing it. I'm saying I would. <laughs> I'm certainly not. Baby just goes right through the danger one. <laughs> and now they're dead. Okay. Oh man. Now you know which one not to use. You're welcome. <laughs> only those two doors, right? Yep, those are the only two ways okay. out. All right. What if we Shawshank Redemption this and just dig a hole in the wall and then go a separate way? Okay, I was going to say, I'm glad you added to that. I've not seen that movie. Okay. Neither have I. <laughs> but, oh, my uh... God. <laughs> oh, that, this nice. is both mine and Cam's reaction. Oh. I tried to get you to watch that. It's a really good movie. Yep. Yep. Why the number of people it? who have told me over the last I've couple months that they haven't seen that movie makes I've me tried. Sad. I've seen this it's movie. It's too slow. <laughs> But yeah, I, I'll be real. I get I get the whole plot. Wow. There's a guy, there are two guys in prison and they But go, it's the friends you make and... along the way. <laughs> that's what happens. I just summarized the whole film. They run around in poopy and that's it. Okay? Nope. Yeah, you got that's it. No, you did it. <laughs> totally did it. Yeah. All wrong. All you totally wrong. did it. Um What what does the hallway look like now with the danger sign? It looks like a normal hallway. It looks like are, it goes down. Are all the lights for... on? The lights are on. It looks like it goes down for about 30 feet or so. There are doors all along the sides. It looks oh. kind of like what's behind Chris. On the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. What? Topical. Um, oh, I got it. I don't know, let's... guys. I don't know. I don't know. Let's I just, think... Let's push on in... Uh... And try every single door, okay? I guess it's okay. That's you know what? Do. Let's do it. But every door we open, we have to be ready to stab something immediately in there. 
Do we we can't hold things yet, right? It's we don't have weapons Not right really. now. I mean the knives are still around. They're still but... there, but yeah. I guess Didn't, I think I can hold a knife. Or I had the knives taped to me. I don't remember. No, that, those those fell I was off. somehow able to hold the knife. Those knives. fell off. They did. They oh, did fall no. off. I, yeah. Toddy, Toddy the tortoise can hold knives. Okay, then yeah. I will hold <laughs> I think they'll be able to dodge it though. <laughs> I will I will hey, be I'll try right. my best. I'll wear your shield and you stab over my shoulder. Right, right, right. I just have to Is back up. Uh no. So they yes, have to but use... their wings are their hands, actually. Right. Okay. Uh, it's complicated. It's yeah. It's tricky. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, on their Facebook okay. profile where it says hands. <laughs> the answer is it's complicated. It's complicated. <laughs> <It's> complicated. <laughs> okay, so are we gonna go down this? creepy hallway with a lot of doors you guys or well, i kill this elephant yeah i mean hey are now that we like are we still kind of like like soft hooves and stuff like we're caught like it's still costume material right it's so not your hooves are always like, plastic but like you're not you're not animals at the moment gotcha <laughs> not more than yeah. you normally are <laughs> so, yeah well standard amount yeah, the, the human condition animal. Right. It, well, I just wanted to know if I could just beat the shit out of something with actual. I mean, the, the plastic's pretty hard. You could you could really knock something with the plastic. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, so all right, so you guys are gonna head down there, and uh, we're gonna flash back to Matt real quick. Matt, you uh are in a cave with your friends on an adventure. Uh, and a giant troll is attacking you all. Will you use your unicorn magic to defend Darius the donkey or Wilfred the wombat from the troll's mighty ac uh, mighty club swing? What of, like, side kind of a quest? bitch? Who's like more of a bitch? Like who's who's just like more I don't know catty and awful. Oh, uh, definitely Wilfred the wombat. I, I defend the donkey then. Okay. Um, the, the wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I have to defend that. <laughs> Who's more fun to go shopping with? Uh, also, Wilfred the Wombat. Shit. All right. I defend <laughs> Wilfred. I defend Wilfred uh, the Wombat. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the troll's swing misses Darius the donkey and also Wilfred the Wombat and hits a column, <gasps> forcing you all to flee into the caves. Uh, but you receive a knowing look from Darius as you uh, as you enter uh, the caves to head further into the city of Nagaraxis. Um, all right, so back out to <laughs> the uh, the rest of you heading down this hallway. Um, so what do you think Pepper's up to? <laughs> Hopefully, Pepper's having a much better time than we are. I'm almost certain he's dead. Looked. Uh, I re don't. Can we not think about it? I really don't want to deal with the fact that Pepper. He might went be through dead. a magic door. I th maybe. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe it's was... a good door. I just, I just reach out and pat the rhino shoulder with my. <laughs> <laughs> there is uh, the first door you come to. Are you going to open the doors that you come to, or are you going to pass them by? Oh shit. Uh, no, I think we were going to open all of them, weren't we? Sure. Do they have at least a handle that you can hoof it open with? Oh, yeah. Or we you, gonna can, have... you can definitely hoof it open. Um, yeah. All right. You open the first one, and uh, there is a little boy sitting in the room oh. uh, with a stuffed, oh, cool. a stuffed uh, elephant in his arms. It looks like it's maybe the 60s. Uh, based on the the house that he's in and his his clothing and haircut, um, but he's crying, uh, hugging this this elephant. Are you, Ray, are you are you opposed to stabbing a child? Yes, usually. <laughs> My gut reaction is yes. yes. I have a problem with. Bye. <laughs> Whatever. Are you a ghost? Uh, what's his name? Can I ask him what his name is? Yeah, you can ask. What's your name, little child with the elephant? 
Hey. He doesn't. Hey, he doesn't respond. But then um, a woman walks into the room, and she says, "Thomas, I need you to go wash the dishes. Put Gordon down, and go wash the dishes." Before your father gets home. Lean over to Cam and I go, I don't think this is the exit. Oh, most certainly not. No, this is, uh, I believe this might be backstory. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, should we leave? <laughs> should we just go? <laughs> I don't I'm, I'm actually kind of curious. Does I, he I, watch I know you would be, but... <laughs> The well, boy actually, do to holds the, the stuffed elephant up and he says, leave Thomas alone. Oh, damn. Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, shit. wait the that... child says that, right? Like Thomas says He so, says like... it in the voice, but he's like okay. moving the elephant. And he's and looking just... at us? No, he's looking oh, just... at he's looking at his his mother. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Hey, I think that's the guy in the slumpo costume just the early years as I I'm like uh, anyone else want to catch up on this because we could just close the door <laughs> and I, yeah. I just slowly, like, slowly, slowly just... walk backwards and yeah. and you just hear the mom saying Thomas make Gordon stop talking oh. and then the door closes oh. Oh, okay that scared me for a second there should be... then I realized Gordon was the Stuffed <laughs> animal, yes. Should well, we, uh, should like, we, like, do a little Wait, wait, did you, did you think that she was telling the stuffed animal to make the boys stop talking? No! No, I thought the animal was actually talking. I mean... I can stop talking. And she was like... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> wait, no. Yeah. Molly had a good idea. We should make an X on the door. Use your knife. Just to, like... Oh, yes. Okay. You, you make an X, should... and it, it's like... Oh, God, you're so slow. That's wait, right. wait. <laughs> <laughs> can, you write, can you write how old the child looks, too, on there? What? Okay, okay that's, that's gonna the case. We need it later. Let's all guess how old that kid was. I'm all gonna right. say seven. Fine. I don't know. I don't... I don't wait. do age good. I wait, hold move on. on. Molly, Molly opens the door again, and it's like, how old are you? When you open the door, you see oh, no. the mother laying on the floor, and the boy sit like sitting cross-legged next to her, and the elephant puppet is leaning over her, and it looks with up at you. With the boy's help or without the boy's help? Without the boy's help. Okay. And it just <laughs> looks up at you. Yep, I close the door. <laughs> All right, just mark the X. We don't have to put the we don't have to put the age. I don't think. Yeah, that's not an. Uh... Good to mark the door, bad to just... Yeah, that's a bad, I'm that's definitely a bad not door. the one opening and closing these doors. Let's be clear here, guys. Yeah, You've so. got the hands, though. And the knife. We have the hooves. We can... Or the... Yeah, whatever. The bashing yeah, hooves. Yeah. Our fashion hooves. <laughs> Your mighty plastic hooves. <laughs> Gordo's first kill. I can't... I can't. Let's... 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 The next keep... door. Yeah. door. Yeah. Next one, next one. I can't wait to see where uh, for the Christmas one that he has. <laughs> oh. oh, I can't wait for the beach one. Oh, uh, a beach episode? <laughs> it's the best. Uh, before you get to the next door, we're going to pop back to Matt. Matt, you are uh, with your companions in the throne room of the great Skeleton King, uh, having slain him uh, with your unicorn magics. Um... And right. uh, there are three crystals to be handed out. Uh, of course, you already have one because you are the great unicorn wizard. Um, but there are three crystals to be handed out from the the Skeleton King's crown. Who gets them? Uh, meaning, essentially, who doesn't get one of the magical crystals? Oh. Uh, I think... I think, I think I don't get one. 
Oh, you absolutely get one. In fact, I have everybody one. agrees that you must get one, being the sorcerer of everyone the group. Everyone agrees. Well, Darius is already being kind of an asshole about that time I didn't predict with my Double magic. Down. He did oh. just save your life, though, against the, oh, no. the, the skeleton wizard. Kid. How did he save my life? Uh, he threw himself in front of a giant rock that was going to hit you, and he took the wounds himself. Okay, so Darius yeah. definitely gets one. And then... Um, What's the other one? Not the wombat? <laughs> yeah, so there's a I, wombat, an armadillo, and a triceratops. Tina! I think I give one to the triceratops because of the land before time. Sure. <laughs> and, um, Naturally. And then, and then I'll give one to Tina. Yeah. That's uh, the triceratops. The, oh, and then who's the armadillo? Uh, Amanda. Amanda. I'll give one to Amanda. Okay. We'll leave Wilfred out. Okay. Uh, all right. So Wilfred the wombat sort of looks uh, l a little, a little downcast, but but kind of sort of understands you. You helped Wilfred out earlier, so things things seem pretty chill in the group, and and Darius uh, certainly appreciates receiving the crystal. Um, and of course, you will. I'll be heading back to town to rest up and enjoy your your social rewards uh, as well for saving the village and all that that sweet sweet villager ass that's gonna come your way um, for if this is like a full on hedonistic debauch that we're going back to. Oh, absolutely, yeah. A bacchanalia, if you will. Yeah. Depending <laughs> on your, yeah. Your, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So back in the in the other world. Um, uh, the next door that you guys come to, are you going to open it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, you open the door and now there is a teenage boy sitting in what looks like probably a, a principal's office. Um, and, uh, is he wearing a school uniform? Yes. No, oh, private school. Makes sense. <laughs> um, Okay. And uh, the the door opens, and a man with a crew cut and a and a white shirt and a black tie comes in, and he sits down, and he says, "Thomas, I I'm not sure what I I can say to you. I I know." Uh, second, I just can't hear all of you. Okay, can you hear me now? How about talking, now? talking. Oh. No. Ah, there we go. Okay, we go. thank you. Okay, cool. Uh, so the principal says, uh, Thomas, I don't know what to say to you. I, I know you've had a very hard time after your mother's passing, but the, what you did to those three boys at lunch, I, I don't have any option other than to suspend you. And Thomas just is sort of sitting there quietly crying and he says, but Principal Mars, I, I didn't do it. It wasn't, please, Thomas, do not tell me that your elephant did this. I understand that you have needs for support, for emotional support. These are the sort of things that as we grow up, we get rid of. We don't need emotional support anymore as an adult. But as a child, you are still clinging to child. And I understand. I'm not judging you. But your elephant, Gordon, is not real. He cannot have hurt those boys. And Thomas is just sort of sitting there. And he says, if, if I say that I did it, can I have Gordon back, please? And the principal sort of thinks about that and he says, yes, I think if you admit that Gordon is not real and he didn't do this, then I think, yes, you can have Gordon back again. And Thomas says, okay, all right, yeah, I did it. I did it. I hurt those boys because I'm just so angry after my mom. And, and you're right. I'm just, I'm just a child. I just have... I've, of the mind of a child. Please, just give me Gordon back. And and the 
principal stands up and he walks out of the room and then the scene just goes black and white. Hmm. Well, okay. Hmm. Oh. This uh... is... Yeah, this kid... Kinda... You guys think that guy in the asylum is innocent? I don't... Leave. Use... <laughs> is Thomas... <laughs> I kind of, uh, I closed the door because we can yeah. just mark that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. We have the, yeah, we're going to talk, so. Yeah, let's, let's walk and talk, too, while we're at it. And, no, um... we have to wait until she finishes the end. Okay. okay. Oh, we have yeah. so much. Um... Uh, as you cut the X in the door, a piece of the, the, like, the wood kind of comes away, and a little bit of stuffing falls out. From the door. Ooh. Stuffing, mm. you say? Yeah, a little bit of white stuffing. And this didn't happen with the other door? Nope. Um, guys? I don't think Wood has... Can I Can I touch? Like, does the, the Do door... Do you want to? <laughs> I just, is it soft? Is it not wood anymore? No, it, it feels like wood. It's huh. almost just as if like a little piece of it lifted up and a little bit of stuffing fell out and then it closed back up again. Oh. All right, moving along. Well, it's either, either really bad or really good. Yeah. I mean, this, at this point, I It's all bad. I all yeah. Bad? I think it's all bad. <laughs> all bad. Uh, uh either he, he has an imaginary friend that is a murderer and or yeah. he's split personality kind of thing. Oh, wow. mm. This demon's a bit of a Stretch I don't know, man. I... I don't know. Where did Pepper go? True. Pepper did what Pepper does, which is whatever the hell he wants. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of... Um, <laughs> uh, it should have been you, Cam! <laughs> Eustace what? the Unicorn what? is standing on a stone bridge uh, facing his four companions uh, across a gap. Uh, and they have... In their bag. I think Matt's frozen. Otherwise, he's just like the stoniest. Oh, no. oh no. no. No, you really are I'm just in. stoic as shit. All right. Let's... <laughs> Wasn't fucking yeah. blanket. Not at all. Just... No. <laughs> I'm serious about this unicorn magic. Um, Let's yes. do this. They... The wombat to drink. <laughs> you feel the magic leaving you <sighs> as they have in their possession your horn. Uh... In the battle with the great goblin army, they took advantage of a moment of your weakness and stole your horn from you and have now left you on the other side of the broken bridge of Nazgaroth Kiflarb. And, um, <laughs> um, and uh, you feel in your heart a deep, deep hatred for these four people who have betrayed you do you vow vengeance or will you hurl yourself from the precipice? How good did my magic kill when I still had it? Oh, just like the best. I'm going to fucking kill them. Okay. And I'm going to make them cry while I do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to, we're going to flip back to the others. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, man. The... I just want to be clear. I choose violence. I choose the shit out of violence. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Yeah. No. That's <laughs> the right. Yeah. Um. They took your horn. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> they took your fucking horn, no. bro. <laughs> no. 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 They borrowed it. <laughs> <laughs> Without asking. Yeah. Uh. All right. So you guys uh head to the next door, and um when you open this door, who opens the door? I guess. Uh, there you go. The, the Bambi the yeah, bat. But I want to, like, I am I still am ready to be a shield. Okay, so you're right next to Bambi. Yes. Okay, so you two, as soon as the door opens, are pulled inside and the door uh. slams behind you. I turn it. I, I no. turn it. Molly! I, no. turn and look, I turn and look at Gray. Knew it. <laughs> Uh, when you turn to look at Gray and you look back, the hallway ends about five feet behind Gray. 
And there is a portrait of Slumpo on the wall with a little, like, museum-style light above it. It's just like an Ew. oil painting of Slumpo with a pipe. Um, Hi. <laughs> Does he have, well, that please tell me he has glasses. Oh, yeah. He's got, he's oh. got like, wire rim glasses um, and a pipe. Smoking jacket. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's with the classiest. The pocket square. A hundred percent. His as if he were writing an uh, an article, like I, as if he had like a monthly article for Playboy in the nineteen seventies. This is his outfit. Oh, uh, I was gonna go like, to the New Yorker. But, okay. Sure. Flip aside now. I'll be real with you guys. <laughs> Um, Head through the door. Okay, is this this is behind me, like where we were coming from, right? Basically, where yeah. you were coming from. Yeah, about five feet behind you now. Okay. Um, the walls are now like a deep red uh, wallpaper with like a gold piping and like like thin uh, like filigree. Um, it's like it's a very fancy hallway at this point, um, but in the room where. Uh, the rhino and bat went. Uh, you're in a hospital room. And there is a young man, early 20s, fairly good looking, uh, who has a bandage around his forehead um, and like a broken arm in a cast. Um, and uh, a nurse comes in, sort of checks his vitals, and then walks out and then comes back in with a tall older man who says um what just tell me straight does does it look bad and the nurse just sort of says sir i don't i think the doctor needs to be the one to tell you this but he says no 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 you tell me will i ever see my son conscious again and uh she says sir i think thomas might wake up or he might not uh, there, there's no real way to know with these these sorts of things. And he just sort of goes over and takes the boy's hand and he he looks up and he goes, where the hell did that come from? And he's looking at the window uh, and on the windowsill is the stuffed elephant uh, sitting next to an open window. Um, and she says, oh, well, somebody must have left it there after the accident. Um, that's very nice, isn't it? It's, it's sort of like a, a comfort thing. She says, no, 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 that's... Would you leave us for a moment? Um, and she says, yes, of course. Of course, sir. Uh, and she walks out, and he walks over to the window and picks up the elephant. And he says, enough of this nonsense. And he goes to throw it out the window, but it catches on, like, the latch. And he, he wrestles with it to try to get it free. And in a way that you have no idea how it happens, he stumbles and falls out the window. <laughs> and from the sound of his scream, you're several floors up. The elephant just sort of flumps back down onto the uh, the windowsill. And then it flumps onto the chair. And then you slowly watch it make its way over little stuffed arm by little stuffed arm up the side of the chair onto the bed. And with its little trunk right next to Thomas's ear. And then the room goes black and white. Okay. Can't say I didn't say that. Seek that coming. Jeez. Yeah, that was like, that was insane. But also like, I was ready for it 100%. Like it didn't surprise me. Um, should we, should we leave? Uh... Yeah, all right. Uh, cool, cool, cool. And yeah. Molly's going to try to open the door. The door opens, and it opens out into a hospital hallway, which is all black and white. Ew. Ooh. Okay. Uh, all right, hold on. Um, you have hands, kind yeah, of. Yeah, sort of. Um, okay, so I this is a hospital. There are, like, knives or scalpels or sharp things. <laughs> 
I just, I'm always, I want to stab, okay? I think if we are ready to stab, then then we're, I feel safer. Um, you hear something just, clatter to the ground behind you, something that sounds metal. I don't know if stabbing's going to help. It's a stuffed animal. We might need fire. Okay, I turn around. What is it? What is it that's on the ground? The black and white boy on the on the bed has sat up. And on his oh. shoulder is the only thing that's in color. The small blue elephant. And the uh, the clipboard that was on the end of his bed has been knocked down and is now on the ground. But he stands up slowly and he says, Do I know you? Not yet! Oh, but we're interns why are you dressed so immaculately thank you um they're doing a new intern program where they ah! <laughs> and he just falls over hitting his head on one of the chairs Ooh. all mm. right uh, okay. Um, um. Oh, my head. Oh, river, river. Um, my head is so. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Clean no, now. I think, river, I think we're gonna have to burn this hospital to the ground. Yeah, that's, I was on, like, go find some, let's get some oxygen tanks going. Make big Okay, moves. okay. All right, so yeah. you guys turn and go out into the hallway, and you're back in the Slumpo's hallway. Okay, uh, oh, sh Okay. There's no we'll one do, in this we'll hallway do arson another time. at the moment, yeah. though. Um, Chris and Bliss, mm. you uh, in your hallway. Uh, there's only one door. Fantastic options. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, screw it, right? Nope. There's no. two doors now. Options. Three doors. Uh, I wonder. I oh wonder, my! Oh wait, hold on. Four doors. Bliss. Am. Oh, Five what? doors. Oh, great, great, great. What? Six. Together. Think. Okay. One door. Exit. Okay, exit. Exit door. Exit. One exit of the door. doors now has a sign on it that says exit. Just keep that in your head, and we okay. record it. Okay. okay. You open the door that says exit. Um, Living next to one another. We're, we're, sure. If we gotta yeah. do, if we gotta do this nonsense, we're going in together. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Um, you guys enter into um. It's the arcade. You're upstairs. Yes. Oh. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Oh my God. There are. What looks like like um like almost like the the canes like sharpened canes are in a basket nearby um and they're sort of like they're, they're very strange they they're pointed at the end they're like a like a weapon and you're not in costume anymore oh no wait hands you i mean hands. yes <laughs> oh hands <laughs> ah! oh. touch yeah, just let. <laughs> and I take him and by the shoulder, and I go. We did it. <laughs> I maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else is around. It's just us. No one else is around. It's just you. And oh, the, okay. this basket with these canes. And a basket of canes. And a sign above them that says "Take one." Uh. Oh, ooh. Mm. Uh -uh. <laughs> I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. Is there doors? Yeah, can we see the exit? Like, can we you go? Don't, you know, that you're just in sort of the middle of the arcade. That you can, you can get Fuck. an idea that maybe in some direction there's an exit from here. I don't. Uh, I mean, I don't want to take one, but I feel like we should. Should we just go find the exit? I listen. I 
kind of don't like following the instructions of that's true that's the true elephant that apparently controls all or some nonsense slumpos it's slumpos birthday slumpos okay slumpos okay birthday, slumpos party okay. slumpos <laughs> <laughs> Can we take? Can does Cam know the general direction of where the exit is? Can we go and head? Yeah, that you way? have a general idea of which way is the front of the of the front of the place. Yeah, it's okay. we were in the. Yeah, let's. Okay, let's just go. You guys start running yeah. in that direction. Uh, down in the hallway below, um, it's you're back in the regular hallway. Uh, the doors have X's on them. Are you going to mark an X on on this one? I don't have a knife. Oh, that's right. Ah, <laughs> ah, that's right. So, all right. So you guys, but Add you a little bit. You you see the <laughs> yeah. You got a horn. You could scratch yeah. scratch oh, in the door I, with the horn. I mean, a soft yeah. horn or is it a hard horn? It's a it's a plastic horn. Uh, I wasn't sure. Yeah, yeah. pain a little bit. You know? Yeah, I'll just like make it. I don't have to make an axe. I just want to like make something that okay. lets me know that I've been in there. There's only um, one door left in this hallway now. Uh, okay. And are the X's still on the other doors? Yep. Okay. Um, well, okay. First of all, uh, Gray? Hello? No? Oh, God. Okay. Um, okay. Let's just do it. Let's just go. Right? Right? Next door. Yep. Next yeah. door. Yep. We'll all just right. open it. You open the last door, and uh, it's just a it's a storage closet. Oh, uh, this with one another feels... with another door on the other side of it that says break room. Is there any other options? I mean, you can go back the way you came. If I look Is... back the way I came, does it look the same? Yep. And the door that we came in through. To the break room, is that still there? Yep. I mean, should we go back? You probably know better than me. I was unconscious for half of this. That's so true. Um, okay, here's what I'm thinking. I think if he's setting a trap for us, we should not go forward. But if he's chasing us, we should not go back. So what do you think there? As soon as you say that, the door in the back, like the one from the, the break room, the original one, opens and Slumpo is standing there. Oh, this one. Let's. We're just going to go and okay, yep, do no, this one. Yep, 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 we got it. We got it. <laughs> uh, oh, I was going to say I flip him off, but I don't have the hands for that. I no, tried to. Just, but I'm show just, him I'm a paw. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you go into the break room and close the door behind you and you a light turns onto the room and there's a little basket with canes in it that says take one like candy canes? what kind of canes are we talking about? <laughs> like walking canes but they're very sharp at the end <laughs> I wasn't sure last time I, was, I didn't have the question last time like a time, walking so cane sure. <laughs> like about three feet uh, long pointed at the Christmas end one. Do we have hands? Uh, no, but uh, but you you have a feeling that you get your paw around it. Okay. You have, like two hands on him, just. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. There's a I... pounding on the door. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up a cane. Okay. Uh, I am gonna go pound back on the door. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you pound back on the door. Uh, Matt, you are standing in front of the great castle of Zaga, Zaga, Zagamu. Zaga, Zaga, Zaga. Zagamu, the, the, the great cow wizard. And um, you, uh, you know that all of your, your treacherous companions have, have hidden away in the castle of Zagamu. Um, but you have with you uh the all of your great magics as well as the uh the dagger of vengeance and uh you're gonna go find your horn um and you enter with with your magics you open the doors of the castle of zagamu and enter with vengeance in your heart 
back in Slumpos, uh, Chris and Bless, you are running through the arcade, and it <sighs> it's bigger than you thought it was. It is you are you're uh, having to go a little farther than you thought you might have had to. Of course. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. just how. Um, however, there is a sort of relentless uh, birthday party music behind you. Um, Slumpos, you're older now. It's Slumpos. Slumpos older. You're Slumpos older now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Say what you will about the murderous elephant. He has a he beautiful has a bomb. voice. <laughs> On point. On point. <laughs> Greg, Slumpo. Cam. We keep thinking about the exit and getting out of here. Okay, should we also plug our ears? Because I feel like this guy is going to make us old. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> okay, okay. Exit. Well, uh, we make us older? Like, or like thinner, he's singing or... the happy birthday song. He's telling us we're getting older. Like, I don't know. I don't trust him. I'm just, let's. No, okay, exit, no. exit, exit. Great. Right. Don't think about getting older. No, that no, no. Actually happen. <laughs> just Please, the no. exit. Just, just the exit. The exit. <laughs> just get the sure. out of here. Okay, the exit. Right, you and guys... hopefully find Molly, but. You guys keep thinking about the exit and keep running through the arcade uh, with Power birthday music thinking. right Power behind you. Uh, as you. If you ever look back, there is a birthday party always right behind you. There is just a, a table Ooh, full of kids and Slumpo oh. is dancing behind the table. Yep. So um, wait, is this like is like the rest of the arcade melting away and this is taking its place, or is the table like zooming? The table is just through. If if you were to run backwards, the table would appear to just sort of be zooming through the arcade. But okay. as you're running away from it and you keep looking back, it just seems to always be behind you. Okay. Like, like the music, that music video. <laughs> yeah. My birthday's in December. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, down below. Uh, Bambi, are you still bashing at the door as it's as it's being knocked on? Depends. Did they knock back after I knocked oh, yeah. on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the he old wasn't. shave and a haircut. Okay, I'll go. Yep, and then they give you the two bits back. Yeah, that's the shave hmm. and a haircut. I don't know. I kind of feel like we're friends now. <laughs> well, then oh. open the door. <laughs> Oh, yeah, never, never mind. No, never not don't anymore. open the door. Never no. don't open the door. Uh, um, don't let uh, Slumpo in. Let's just. Should we just go go upstairs? Should we just go upstairs? Uh. Well, yeah. there's a door Fine. into another. You're in a storage closet right now, and there's one more door going into another break room from behind you. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Yes. Break okay. Room. I so, it was did the... you grab a cane, Ashton? Yes. Okay. I don't like that, but I did. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm just, I want to go out of the storage closet. Okay, so you go into the break room, and uh, Anya, are you following Ashton? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you grabbing a cane? Uh, um. <sighs> yeah. Okay. You both well. grab canes and head into the break room. The door closes behind you. And this break room looks like it has not been updated since, like, maybe 1983. There is wood <laughs> paneling everywhere. Uh, wood this here. is not as nice as the other one, but it's shag carpeting. And the couches here look like maybe this was some sort of make-out room. Um, we had a sex break that room. One. Ew. Oh God! Ew! It's not stinks. the sex okay. one. I, and there's like a I don't Turn like this. Turn on a black light. Scent. Everything starts glowing. Ew! Oh my God! Okay, we have to get out. We have to get out. Yeah. I'm Is there any other doors? Do not want to stay in here. Uh, no. There's there's just the door you came through, but you hear a pounding. No. Up, not. Hey, Denise, are you in there, Denise? It's me, Tony. Or River, I don't want to die in in the sex break room. I think this me is neither. the worst. <laughs> Denise, you told me I should meet you down here on break. I'm coming, oh, baby. Oh. How oh. long is break? Thirty minutes. We can, we can just lock the door, right? Ready or not, Denise, it's time for the old Italian sausage. You got. It. We're going, baby. And the door starts to open. Truly, these are the worst days. <laughs> <laughs> 
the best of days, there were the worst of days. There was the oh, worst okay. of days. Um, okay, uh, uh, all right, I'm gonna be ready with the cane to stab, but I'm not gonna do it, like, immediately. Like, sure. I wanna make sure I get a half-second look at whoever it is so I can make a good decision. Sure. Uh, the guy who comes through the door is, like, 19. He's got, like, a 70s, almost, like, Italian perm going on. Um, and uh, he's, he's a good-looking guy, but, like, he's also just got his dick out. Um, and he walks past you. Deal breaker. Um, he doesn't even <laughs> seem to see you. And uh, there's there's a, uh, a, a equally aged young woman sitting on the couch behind you. Um, with an equally large Italian, like, perm going on, and she's immediately into this, um, and, uh, and then they just sort of fade away. You wait to take your dick out before you get into the room, right? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I don't think you announce yourself as the Italian sausage, though, and at least not have that option. (laughs) Take it out first. It's bold strategy. I yeah. don't know if I would recommend that for a lot yeah. of people. In case you're curious, don't do it like that. Don't. I think that they have a history, and that's why it worked. Probably. It, it, that's I don't the think only way that situation time. could work. Um. It, it. Well, that's true because this is the Midwest. If it was Jersey, it's a completely different matter. <laughs> um. No, it just would have been, he, he's bringing actual Italian sausages. <laughs> uh, I am a little bit hungry. I was hoping that it would really. Yeah. Just uh, but better. when you turn back to the door, Slumpo is standing there. Of course. Eep. Hi. <laughs> All right. And there's no other exits in this room? Nope. Hello. All right. So, hey, um, if I have to have sex with this elephant in the sex break room to survive i am not gonna say no wow that was <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> the goat <laughs> um slumpo was like well i hadn't thought what? about that before but bambi Can would I... you like to leave <laughs> no not that Wait. badly Okay. Wait, is... Oh, you mean like so? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not my um, type. I'm not into it. I'm not into marsupials. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, yeah. Uh, Do I get what? out it, after we're done with this? And trust me, it could take as long as you need. But after we're done with this, do I get to go? And also, can you like, where's my brother? Because like, not that I want him here. I definitely don't. I just mean like, I was wondering where he was. <laughs> Uh, Bambi, you hear this conversation as the door closes behind you. Um... <laughs> I did not expect the seducing of Slumpo as an option. In this. Uh, yeah. Neither did I, but you know what? I'm I'm really roll trying with to... It. Roll, I'm really... With it, roll with it, I Molly's guess. all in. Um... This doesn't go well in movies. <laughs> no. No, but you know... It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. If I'm going to die in the sex room, I'm going to die having sex. Right? Yeah. I'm not gonna die in the sex room fully clothed. Maybe well, the MVP. <laughs> so I have furry sex. <laughs> uh, so Slumpo <laughs> just says, sure, sure, all of that. Uh, your brother is safe in cool. the arcade. Oh, okay. Um, he's really good at DDR, so. Yes. He's having a time, I'm sure. So how are you? I'm good. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I just, sorry, I just, like, I want to get to know Can each Can you other please first. go stand in the corner? Well, the thing is, I really want to get to know you first before we start yes, anything. Which is will. like... Oh, yeah. I'd rather do it via talking. No, that's what we'll do. You just have to stand in the corner. If I stayed in the corner, am I going to die? We all die. Yeah, but am I going to die, like, within the next, you know, like, like, soon? The next soonish. <laughs> the next soonish? <laughs> Four till college? No! All right. No, you seems won't. Like, seems like you're lying to me, and I don't think the sexual partner should lie. 
to their significant mm. others. If that's what we are, I don't know. I don't know. We're not there yet. Perhaps I, you I, should I, I run to through you. that door then. Is there a, is there a door behind there me? There is now a door behind you. I don't know. I'm kind of into this though. Well, first things first then. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to black. Cut to black. <laughs> we do. We cut to black. Uh, we cut to Matt actually uh, stalking oh, the hallways of the the giant castle, searching for his prey. Um, yeah. And he hears ahead of him the sounds of the triceratops. Um, the 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 sort of well known triceratopian <laughs> sounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The, yeah, yeah, it was. Oh no, the only one we heard was the sick one in Jurassic Park. Yeah, um, but you know that Accurate. right behind this door probably is Tina the Triceratops. So I can hear Tina from this yeah. side of the door. Yeah, um, and that breaks my heart because I haven't seen my friends in so long, and they betrayed me, and I hate them, mm -hmm. and I just I really want to kill them all um, mm -hmm. and get my horn back. Um, and I'm curious, do I still have magic? Not really. You have a knife. Oh, okay. Dear. You have a somewhat magical knife. Dagger of somewhat vengeance, bro. Knife. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I was hoping that I could use my magic to silence Tina as I murdered her, but yeah. um, I'll just open the door and go kill Tina. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ashton, you go. I want my horn. And I just open the door screaming, I want my horn. <laughs> okay. And it's all night from there. Cool. Uh,. <laughs> Tina dies in a brutal, bloody way. Um, uh, Tina is a triceratops, right? Yes. Does Tina have a horn? Tina really? has a horn, Thank absolutely. You. I'm gonna cut Tina's horn off. Okay. Um, okay. Ashton, can, can I can I ask? Do you and Slumpo do the the business before Slumpo sends you out out of the room? Well. My question is, if we do the business, uh, uh, which is what we're calling it, yeah. uh, do I get to take off my costume? No. Oh. What? No. This is an elephant I can't this fucking a rhino. Can't feel anything. Oh no! Yeah, I mean, things accommodate. Okay. Uh. I mean, yeah, I would. Yeah, that I would like to do that, and then I'm gonna leave. Okay. Um. Yeah. It's real awkward afterwards. Slumpo just <laughs> does yeah. the like, I'll call you thing, and then. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. I'll haunt your dreams later. Right. Ridiculous. Sure, I'll, I'll like text you. Yeah, yeah okay. that's, that's great. Yeah. That's he really did good. Call us, yeah. Or maybe I could call you. Like we could go to dinner. You should totally call me. What's your number? Yeah. That's gonna be like great. A, do you like Italian food? Uh, I love Italian food. <laughs> oh my god, me too. We could totally do that. Cool. Why don't you um just give me a call? I put my number in your phone. Oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'll totally do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, cool. Nice uh, to talk to you. Okay. Yeah, it was. This was really nice. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then he closes the door behind you. <laughs> uh, and then you go through the other door, and you meet a man with a with a bloody scab on his forehead, wielding a knife, mm -hmm. screaming, "I want my horn." Yeah, and that's he what I. Cuts I you to pieces. Oh, that's what I expected. And, <laughs> And the last uh, thing he does is cuts your horn off and takes it away uh, as you lay bloody on the floor. Mommy, no. You know, it's fine. <laughs> I, Somewhere in the other universe, Gray just goes, no. I have no regrets. <laughs> um, Matt, you, you realize that, that while you have Tina the Triceratops' horn. Uh, it's not your horn, but it's it's at least Fucking gratifying uh, yeah. to watch to watch them die. Uh, and 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 you think uh, they stink of sex, <laughs> right? <laughs> as you as you murder them. Oh, Did I not even get to stab with my cane? I couldn't even try to stab. No, you couldn't find your cane. Actually, it got lost in the in the rump. In the kerfuffle. You know what? Yeah, that's fair. The, <laughs> the rumpus. <laughs> um, uh, but your your hunt must continue, uh, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> um, Anya, you you made it out. 
Um, yes. <laughs> uh, you made it all the way back to the other break room? I don't see why I would go there, but okay. Where Where would you like to go? That's You've got the doors that you entered before and then the other break right. room. Oh, well, that's not a lot of good options, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Uh, where was the magic portal? <laughs> it was in the break room. In the break in the break yeah. room. That's yep. where I'm going to go. Room. Okay. Uh, you head into the uh, into the break room, and the portal is open. the The door is there. It's but it's not okay. covered in leaves <laughs> or anything. It's like it's like stone, and like it's like a like a dark hallway. Um, like, almost like a, like a castle hallway. Hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, do I notice anything else? No, oh, no, it's just sort of I'll dark down make... there. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to touch it and see what happens. It's just a hallway. You, you can walk down it. It's cool. It's cool down there. It's kind of the only real difference. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the cold, but I guess I'll give it a try. It's not like freezing. It's just, you know, brisk. It's, that sounds cold. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you, you head down there, um, and immediately the, 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 the portal closes behind you, and you are just yeah. just sort of walking down the hallway. <clears throat> uh, Matt, uh, you turn a corner, um, and that fucking wombat is straight down the hallway anyway, from you. Um, they don't look like they have your horn, though. Where's my fucking horn? <laughs> and Armadillo has it. Where's my fucking a, horn? A naked-ass man with a giant bloody scab on his forehead with a knife in his hand covered in blood is standing down at the end of the hallway asking you where his horn is. Does this look like Pepper, by the way? Not at all. Okay. I mean, maybe if you, like, aged Pepper by 40 years and, like... Wow. Yeah. You must have listened to that birthday He's song making us old. No, he went to a land of baby my age fucking age. horn? Um... I'm going to hold my cane up and start backing away. Okay, that wombat has your horn. That Holy wombat absolutely shit. has your fucking yeah. horn. No. Oh my god. No hesitation. I'm gonna kill that fucking wombat, rip its wings off. Wombats don't have wings. They don't. They're, they're, Whatever. They're slightly Man, I don't bad know what a wombat is. I just know it's got Doesn't my horn. Matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, Alright, so you go racing after this wombat. That's my horn. That's my fucking horn. Give me my horn. Uh, Anya, what, what, is, what does Bambi the Bat do? Gonna hold up the sharp end. Uh huh. And my horn can't hurt. Start me. running forward, I guess. Okay. Uh, the my magic of hurt. the horn starts arcing out, and you can feel it entering back into you, Matt. The horn's magic is returning to you. Yeah, um, I'm and, not worried about that. And Anya, you feel that that thing just disintegrate in your hands. Um, and as you get, as you're about to plunge it into, uh, the, the, this crazed man, a horn forms, forms on his forehead and he stabs you through the neck with it. Um, and, That's <laughs> and just like slowly lowers you to the ground. Oh. Um, as you look into the wombat's eyes, uh, what do you say? Uh, as the wombat bleeds out very quickly. <laughs> I say, I really fucking liked you. I don't know why you took my horn. I like shopping with you. I like, God, it didn't have to be this way. It didn't have to be this way. And none of that makes any sense to you as you die. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't think it would. <laughs> yeah. Um, so as, as uh. what you get. Uh, but as River, as you die, the last thing you do see, River, is that you're actually back in Slumpos. Uh, you are in the, uh, the kitchen now. Um, mm. and, uh, Pepper, you are still now just drenched in blood. 
Uh, but the other two are still out there. Um, and you have your magical horn now, though. So you have to ask yourself the question, will you still take revenge? Or now that you have your horn, will you go on your merry way? I honestly think now that I have my horn, I'm feeling a little more chill. Okay. I want to go find something to eat. Okay, you are in the kitchens, so you you have access to food right now. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just okay. gonna go get something to eat. There was some, I think, some bread or some, I don't know, some hay or something in there that sure. I would like to look for. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. Whatever unicorns eat. Uh, they they eat whatever they point, want because they'll never. I'm just, I'm just wandering around, the, and I assume. Oh my god, I love being a unicorn. So I think at this point I'm just wandering around the ch- kitchens. I suppose naked. Yeah. Just like eating whatever I find. And sure. Drinking With, like you know oh. right out of the bottle. Yep. The horns mm-hmm. glued to his head. Is that what the image is? Uh, the, the, this horn is just a horn of bone now that grows out of his forehead. Yeah. Absolutely. He said, "Yeah." <laughs> I pursue my glow with magical glory. Yeah. Wow. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> um. So back in the arcade, uh, you guys are getting tired of running. Oh. Um, oh, but boy, that birthday party is still right behind you. Uh, give me a physical prowess roll, each of you. Oh my god, are we ready? Are we ready? Oh god, I hope Anything so. under a 12 and you are having to stop. Anything uh, under... If it's between a 12 and a 15, you've got a little bit more in your tank. It's, wow, I've lost the damn. Exclamation mark D space the number of dice. <laughs> Tinder, I just wanted to check. There it is. Oh my god. All right, so. I'm uh, surprised. Uh, so Cam's got <laughs> gas in the tank. We both do. You both wow. do. You are still wow. trucking. Oh, Amazing. The two more physically fit members <laughs> besides the roller dirt. This is why we don't use roller skates. Um, Slumpo is, uh, whenever you guys look back, Slumpo is there, but now, uh, both, um, both River and Molly are sitting at the birthday nope. table. Nope. Uh, not in their costumes. Nope. They both just have birthday hats on. Do, like, no. naked? Are we naked? No. No, no, no. Uh, no you're just... Am I wearing roller skates? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And in fact, um, you can hear in the background just sung, I got a brand new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new key. <laughs> um, Great. We need to get the hell out of here. But I just. Oh, uh, man. Man, I'm having some bad thoughts, Cam. I, uh, oh, well, God. Is that I'm Molly? Is that Molly? Standing, oh, my God. Is that River? Standing at an arcade machine that you pass is, um, is Pepper naked with a horn growing out of his head playing asteroids nope nope i'm engaging with nope. that nope <laughs> no nope. later oh god oh god i think camp does that mean molly's that dead camp. what what are we doing we're, mm. no we're think... getting out of here and oh. call the cops we could all okay. be tripping on mushrooms or something i don't know oh, i don't think so but okay uh, I, the next thing that you pass is Ray's not okay. <laughs> one of those like four player uh, uh, X-Men machines um, and Slumpo, Pepper, River, and Molly are all standing at it playing, uh, playing together um, and they all just sort of look back at you and smile. Yep, bye. Uh, not my birthday. I That's <laughs> in a couple days. Later. Uh, I think I think if Gray was not having a great physical moment right now, he'd uh-huh. be he'd be a little bit upset. I think he'd be crying. I All think right. that Focus. I think that I think that Gray has to like find your arm and like hold on to you to keep going because I don't know what's happening. My sister's over there with that elephant. I don't know. Nope. All hallucinations. Deal with it later. Ah. <laughs> uh, you see a row of DDR machines. Uh, there. <laughs> Six Don't wide, but four of them are taken up, and they're all dancing on the DDR machines with two empty spaces. And you just see Molly, like, pointing at the empty DDR machine. 
Cam looks over. I've never DDR'd before, but we'll do it later. You can show me how. We're leaving this place. Wait, 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 wait. But I, like, kind of slow down a little bit. Uh -huh. I gotta do a double take here. Uh-huh. Uh, but Mo Molly wants me, wants me to play DDR right nope. now. Give me a Not courage her. roll. Not Mer her. <laughs> Mer <laughs> You notice that Doppler effect because Cam hasn't fucked. Oh wow, I have yeah. quite some courage here. Hold on, let's see. Uh, as I say that, there. get a z z terrible, terrible score. Fifteen, Oof. not bad. You slow down, but then you you speed back up again to try to catch up with Cam. Okay. With, yeah, uh, you're, you're uh, right. You're right. Yeah. It's not her. It's not. It's not Molly. Um, we gotta call the cops. They gotta deal with this problem. We are teenagers. Where is the exit, though? We've been running for like so long, man. Like I don't, I don't know where this thing is. Focus, exit. Think exit. I don't. <laughs> okay, exit. Um, there. I is... love that Cam is trying to manifest an exit. Right. Like, yeah. He's right. going. The only thing we've been doing this entire time. Magic. He's like, it he's worked like, one I time. On TikTok and just. Time. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I just got to realize my reality <laughs> and make it real. <laughs> it turns oh out that manifestation God. crap is true. Get him, uh, Cam. <laughs> so the arcade still keeps going on, but you do notice in the wall a, a door with a sign above it that says break room. Oh, my fucking God. Ah. <laughs> uh. You tell me, Cam. Are we going back to this fucking okay. break room? We ju and Fuck. just grabs Gray's hand and uh -huh. right through the door. It's a, it's not well, a break room you've ever been in before. This one has like movie posters from the late '90s on the walls. There's a couple of couches. Uh, there's like a uh, Nintendo 64. Um, like this one. This one's different than the ones you've seen before. Okay. Uh, is there any other exits or anything in there? There is. There is one. Another door. It's not marked, but yeah. Okay. Stay together. This is. We just gotta stay together. The TV okay. comes on. No. Oh bullshit. And it's a slumpo <laughs> video game. And, and, on the screen you see a pixelated version of Pepper, saying, "Help me find my horn." And then uh, both um, River and Molly show up at the sides, like, like, help him find his horn. And then Slumpo is there with his horn in the hand, and he runs off the side of the screen. We do not engage with this. We move. <sighs> oh, God. This is not Save me, says Molly. <laughs> no. <Nope>. And... <laughs> Okay, I think at this point, Gray is, has his, like, hands over his ears. I think I, he tries to, like, block the door that we came into. Uh -huh. Okay, I, I think we gotta go check out that other door. I don't know. I, I, la, 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 la. Like, All the posters in the room change into pictures of Molly, like, as a pixelated, <laughs> like, video game character saying, Save me, Gray. Find, find Pepper's horn. Like, him <laughs> grabs Gray's shoulders. Gray! Focus. Mushroom, we're tripping balls. We're leaving this shithole. A DDR mat to... just rolls out in front of the TV screen. <laughs> nope. And Cam, <laughs> Cam kicks the other door open. Uh -huh. Unless unless Gray fights it, drags them with him. Oh no, I'm I'm definitely trying to go back to that DDR thing. But but I'll, I'll let you drag me away. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Uh, oh, you guys, you guys race out of the room and, um, you are, you are back in the arcade, but it's, it's, you can actually see the end of it now. You can see where it ends in the vestibule of leaving. the, of the, the place. <laughs> we're leaving, we're leaving and just kind of like cams, if Gray's not coming, dragging a little bit, but mm -hmm. also not yeah. hesitating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He is, Cam is done with this shit <laughs> okay uh so you guys get to the front and the front door is locked with a padlock uh, is it glass windows it's like that like glass with the metal 
like oh, wire through it. Uh. Uh, but there are a couple of things hanging next to the door. Mm. Um, there's a key for the padlock. Yep. And there is something that has just like a little hook on it with like almost like a, 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 a ball. It's like a big ball with a tiny little hook at the end. Uh, what? A oh, big hook? With a hook on it? Like, is the hook the same material? What is this hook? Is it like it's Captain all, Hook's like, hook? No, it's like a big... It's sort of like Captain Hook's hook, but as, as if the bottom of the hook was a big sort of ball that you could hold between your hands, and then just a tiny little hook um, that, that looks like it might go... Like, it's a little too big for, like, the eye of a needle. Say we take the key. With what? With our hands that we have now. Oh yeah. You don't. We're people. We're people again. No, nope. <laughs> you're in costumes. Son of a as bitch! As soon as you came through that door. But here's uh... the thing: you don't feel heavy or slow. You don't feel like you would feel I better. Costumes. It's got a zipper in the back that you can't reach. And plastic hooves. Ah, uh, you got the Wait, hands. Can I Gray, try with grab my... the ball, use the hook, get my zipper, pull it down, and I'll help you out with my normal human hands. Quick. Okay, 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 okay. I I'm too frazzled to think of anything right now. I'm pretty much just doing what Cam's telling sure. me to do. So as I'm just going to take... As you start to do that, the door opens and Slumpo comes walking slowly into the room. Get me out of the costume. I get you out of yours. Hurry. <laughs> I'm I'm normal speed, right? I'm normal oh yeah, you're speed. normal speed. Okay, all right. I'm gonna take that ball with the hook, and I'm gonna turn cam around. We both got eyes on Slimpo. Give me a We're physical gonna... prowess roll, Ritz. and then give me a courage roll because from the other door, an old oh, man with a bone sticking out of his forehead. Oh my comes fucking walking God. into the room, get out covered of here. in eating an apple, get eating, out of here. eating an apple. Just an old blood covered I naked man with a with a bone jutting out of his forehead. God damn it. Yeah. Pepper, go home! You don't even go here. Okay, this is that's so that physical. Was, that, Fuck. that was physical and then that's courage. Alright. So you are shaking. Wait, wait, let me roll again for the courage. Hold up. Er. Oh yeah, just a private message. It's an eleven. Okay. Um so Damn, you, sorry. You are shaking, but you manage to fit the hook in the in the zipper and start to pull it down. And Slumpo wow. is like five feet away now. He is walking towards you and he's like, No time too slow. No. And then he has a knife. Only one gets out. You'll have to leave them behind. Uh, and Chris, you, you can pull yourself out of your suit now. Pull myself out of the suit and then, because now human hands right. definitely grab the hat, uh, like, just rip the turtle, turtle head off and unzip. Okay, so as you do that, you feel a hand grab you on your back and start to pull you backwards. Um... Uh, gray. You feel the head rip off, um, and the zipper starts to come down. But but, Cam is pulled back away from you. Uh, Slumpo puts his hand on your shoulder, and he looks down at you and goes, "Let's see how this goes." Um, Matt. Yes, I'm You've ready. Got, you have got your hands on this motherfucking donkey. Uh, yes. oh. But he's in disguise. But you recognize Darius the donkey. I know this motherfucker, this yappy motherfucker, anyway. Yeah. What are you going to uh, do with Darius? I'm going to take my... I'm going to take my sacred dagger, and I'm going to oh. cut open his belly. And okay. I'm going to stuff his intestines into his mouth. 
Can I challenge this? Yeah, absolutely. Give me a physical <laughs> prowess roll uh, as you feel pulled back against this naked man's body. I just yeah. said the other week that we don't mix sex and violence, but like I, I feel like <laughs> it's okay. He's just I, naked. It's mixing. I do. I, I do hug him warmly as I attempt to kill him. Yeah. Fifteen. Aww. Fifteen. Uh, All right. Can Cam headbutt and be like, Pepper, you idiot. Ugh. I'm an old man now. I've been in the fairy realm for like 50 years. I don't even know this guy. Anymore. Yeah, you also no, really Pepper. don't recognize him. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm crazy the, now. The, 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 the goddamn unicorn horn. You, you, you think you, like... you, you figured it out? All right, I'll, I'll let you figure it out. Um, <laughs> As so, I'm trying to be disemboweled, I'm like, you you, dumbass. You dev- do like a headbutt backwards. This... This works oh, partially because one, the man has a unicorn horn growing out well, of his head. It's kind of far. Sure. And... Uh, so you kind of hit him in the face as you feel the knife like cut. He's probably not going to be able to stuff your intestines in your mouth. Um, <laughs> but Slumpo, uh, Gray, Slumpo has his hand on your shoulder and he says, Patience. If it goes badly for him. It goes well for you. Okay, so my head's out of the costume, uh-huh. but I'm still inside the suit. It, it's The zipper is halfway down in the back. Okay. Oh, God. I don't... I think he's very clumsy, but can I... Can I, like... Oh, God. Can I, like, fin- Like, can I... Pretty, like... Push his try arm to break away out. and then try to yeah, yeah try to free myself from the costume to help Cam. So you can, but you, you. also do notice that Slumpo has a very big knife. Uh like one hand on your shoulder, a, a big knife next to you. Do I hear him say that Amanda the armadillo gets to live? No, no, you're you're okay. You're you're because we were a, about to have words. Yeah, no, you're in a physical <laughs> altercation <laughs> with this fucking donkey. <laughs> Man, oh boy. Um, uh, um, I don't know. I feel like I should try. I just can't leave him there. Molly's dead already. Like, what am I gonna do? Uh, I think, I think he's gonna try. I okay. think he's gonna see that and, uh, give me the old to... physical prowess roll. I think I'm gonna try to, like, shove him away from me. Okay. The good old physical prowess. Here we go. The ghost of Molly comes through and is like, you just gotta fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. It didn't work. Oh no. It worked. It was It actually did Slumber work. was the one who killed me. Slumbo yeah, didn't. It's true. Slum- Slumbo kept his word. <laughs> yeah. He Order? did. He did. Not really? We don't know any of this, but he did. <laughs> <laughs> um I mean he wasn't gonna call Molly. I will say that. He was Oh he Molly was wasn't not... gonna call him either. <laughs> it was one of those nights. One night yeah. Slumbo stand. Um Alright, at twelve. So you you push Slumpo, uh, but he just sort of hugs you closer. Um, he's like, I wouldn't do that. Maybe there won't be anybody left. I just, I'm just gonna yell, fuck him up, Cam! I don't know who the fuck he is, but just fuck him up, okay? And then get the key and get the fuck out of here! <laughs> um... The uh, the physical altercation. Chris, give me one more physical prowess roll. All right. This guy's got a bone coming out of his forehead. Sixteen. Sixteen. <gasps> wow. All right. So while you were cut, you were not cut in a in a, an absolutely fatal way. So you are able to actually. Um, how how are you going to deal with this weird naked man? Uh, oh, you know what? I'm wearing shoes. He's naked. Definitely uh-huh. doing like a stomp. Yep. On the his, scrape like, stomp. The scrape stomp on his mm. foot. And then to, Yeah, whatever you whack job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do that. And he stumbles backwards against the wall. Um, and the knife clatters to the floor. Taking Gray's advice, just kind of beelines to grab the key un- and unlock the door. Okay. Um, you, you, you do. You grab the key and unlock the door. 
and you watch as Slumpo pulls Gray backwards and cuts Gray's throat. Bye bye. <laughs> as like Camp stumbles out over his feet and just falls through the door, he's like, "God ah, no!" Out the door you go, and the lights in Slumpos go out. Uh, it's like 3 a.m. Uh, there's a siren off somewhere. Uh, the lights in the parking lot are flickering a little bit. Um, <clears throat> you're, you're in your regular clothes. Um, and no. the, the door to Slumpo's behind you is locked. Oh, What? The sign on the door says, closed until further notice. I want to get some gas cans and put this motherfucker to the ground. <laughs> is, my van, is, is, my, uh, is my mystery van in the parking lot? Or? Nope. When you walk out, there's p old police tape running across the front of the building. Oh, shit. Um, and it looks like it's been there for a while. Um... And down the street, you see some kind of van or something driving slowly with its head, the tie beams on uh, and pulling into the parking lot of Slumpos. And that is where we will leave this adventure. Um, thank you all for joining us. <laughs> wow. You bitch. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I was gone for. I'm glad you saved yourself. <laughs> I know, Josh. We would have both died. I know. <laughs> oh, I, no, no, no. One of you is getting out. One of you was getting out. If, if, you. if, if, if Eustace had killed you, Chris... It was, yeah. Ray would have just been walked out the front door. Wow. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. One of you wow. was getting out. So. Fucking, fucking Pepper. You <laughs> <laughs> ruined everything. So, Matt, at what point did you realize you were going to be the person who kills everybody? Um. Well, you know, the when moment he they walked took that my door. when they took my horn, uh -huh. they took my horn. I, I I made some connections. I knew that armadillo had a had a little shell. I knew that Triceratops had a horn. Uh huh. I knew that donkey had something ugly coming, and of course the wombat clearly did that. Sure. Um, so yeah, I made some connections, and I thought, you know, I don't like to be wronged. <laughs> you know what they say. Never wrong you know, a unicorn. Don't, don't cross a unicorn. unicorn. Yeah, don't Never cross, cross a unicorn. unicorn. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like, you know, from the beginning, I knew that Pepper was one of those, like, once you once you activated that violence, yeah. like, Pepper was just... That makes sense. Well, that's, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, I knew that from the start. It was on the path to Murder River. <laughs> yeah, well, when there was, there was an offer last session where it was like, there hey, was? you can go home if you murder River, and Pepper was like, ah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but then I, I figured, how long was I in that realm? If I'm coming out as an old man, I'm coming out crazy. I've been yeah. killing goblins and skeleton yep. kings. I'm like <laughs> gone, man. I'm, I'm, I'm 50 years into whatever land. Yeah, the good, the yeah. good news this point, is Pepper is the villain for the next one. Potentially. <laughs> potentially. I, I will say this. Where we just left it is not precisely where the other one will pick up. But it that moment will be in the other one. Um, I will say, if you let me have some magic, shit gets dark. <laughs> <laughs> um, Man. Honestly, I think I think if Grey wasn't such a big, like, burnout, uh, I think we would have had a big problem. Like, Cam would have been alone for most of that adventure, I think. <laughs> I would have gone to play DDR with Molly 100%. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, as soon as he's like, oh, they're all DDR. I'm like, no, please. <laughs> oh, I love it was the, the rolling out of the DDR. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, that's just the asshole. Like, that's just Slumpo. Like, come on, man. really hard. That's our very, very much our Stephen King moment in that adventure is just the, yeah. the DDR rolling out. Like, 
<laughs> I do love though that Cam went from like science guy to like yeah. just picture something good. Yeah. Just picture something good. Just For visualize. Sure. Or a positivity. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I have a lot of empathy because that happened to me in real life. <laughs> Which part? All of it. I'm an idiot now. Yeah. I'm a freak uh, yeah. I visualize stuff all the time. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely going to be being the secret now that he's out. Yeah. Oh, right. man. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, uh, poor Cam. <laughs> Yeah, he's oh going down a dark he's path. He's gone, yeah. It he's worked. He got out. He manifested is... his exit. You know how much uh... therapy he's going to be going through? <laughs> so much therapy. So much therapy. I think that, like, the four of us, though, as ghosts, wherever we are, I feel like we're going to have the time of our lives without Cam. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is fucking hard. Cam's out there dealing with survivor's guilt, and all of us are just like, <laughs> <laughs> What a square! Being those <laughs> shithead ghosts from The Shining. Yeah. <laughs> like, eh, come in, sure. Oh, there was Die half here. a moment where there was going to be, a, like, a guy in a dog costume going oh, down boy. on another Full guy waiting. when you opened up a room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had to yeah. really pull back on that that moment. We so redirected to the, the rhino <laughs> one night. <elephant>. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have no I, regrets. I I'm happy. Good. I'm, I'm glad. glad. No I did problem, everything Molly. I could. You did. Yeah. You totally did, Molly. I was there with you till the very end. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, well, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, we hope the video quality on YouTube is better. I, uh, I've been, uh, although now it says, let's see, has it been? No. Um, well, I guess we'll see. Because uh, the, uh, <laughs> the recording is just like stopped at 39 minutes so who fucking knows um is it potato or potato we'll see i guess <laughs> potato. Uh, or maybe it's just gonna be a real crappy twitch potato, export potato. but uh so thank you all for watching um ashton where can people find you on the internet like um or i tweet about my ibs or wrestling sometimes uh, or you can uh, follow him on one of my podcasts at FKF Tweets on Twitter. It's a podcast about King Arthur if he was a dumb himbo. Um, or if you're not into audio dramas, you can check out uh, at Cars Conspiracy on Twitter, which is my show written in the cars where I try to solve the entire Cars universe. And we just dropped our sixth episode where we watched Planes 2. And wow, it was fucking rough. <laughs> it was so rough. Planes 2 is not a good movie. Shocking. Anyway, that's yeah, it's really shocking. Me. It's so bad. Nothing happened. It's nothing. It's nothing. Planes too, man. You, you expect more from Leslie Nielsen. Uh, you expect more, more from time. something that was dedicated to all the brave firefighters. Sure. Yes. True. As it said in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, yeah. Chris, where can people find you on the internet? I'm all over the All Ports Open Network, uh, but uh, the one of the few, few projects that's not related to that, Grognorn Friends, every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Here on Twitch, you can find me. We also have a YouTube channel where if you don't want to see it live, you can find us there as well. Every episode is usually uploaded like a week or two after the fact. I play a drunken cleric. Weird. It's an excuse for me to imbibe and uh, be recorded while I do it. Because <laughs> that way it counts as being doing it with people around, so it's not sad. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Anya, where can people find you? Yeah, scary.lollipops on Instagram. Cool. Uh, Matt, how about you? Um, I have some short stories coming out in uh, Tales from the Magician's Skull uh, pretty soon, and then um, I, um, my voice is on an audiobook called Howls from the Dark Ages by P.L. McMillan and Solomon Force. Cool. And Bliss, where can people find you? I'm on Instagram at ren.adrian, and I'm on Spotify doing making noises and stuff at Headhum. Awesome. Uh, yeah, and you can find all of our stuff at apongames.com or allportsopen.com uh, our twitch our twitter our youtube our discord all that stuff is there uh check that out we have a game that is finishing up on itch.io broken uh a tragic romance game that's finishing up uh on wednesday of this week it, it's sale uh we hit all of our goals so that's gonna come out 
in a full version in a couple of months uh, with a bunch of great uh, scenarios and stuff like that from some awesome writers. And, uh, and yeah, so that's that's kind of it. Uh, Apongames.com or allportsopen.com. So uh, for Ashton Laurel, for Blissey Vito, for Anya Nelson, for Matt Byrne, and for Chris Zomsky, I'm your host, Josh Wise. This has been The Worst Days. We hope you've had the best time. Good night, everybody.